morning today we're gonna learn uh, super function we're gonna learn sequencing mapping subclasses from a list and uh, learn about property and static method and class methods okay and this is lesson number 19 so I rerun the program let's look at the first one print pianist Okay, we have a class called pianist. We have from <coughs> previous uh, <coughs> from previous uh, lesson number eighteen. Again, you define uh, uh, do a constructor for uh, uh, pianist itself. Okay, use super function instead of below. We don't use this anymore. You can use a uh, this is you can use the same it work but uh, this is you initialize from a person uh, classes but in here by using a super function you can call super pianist cell and initialize it like that okay so I think this is prefer method okay and everything should stay the same when you bring it it's gonna say uh, I'm singing I'm drinking I'm full exactly the same except that we use this one line in here super function it does the same thing like this okay so what it does is this is the, uh, a class you assign a variable to a class by doing this this become object object always followed by a dot okay you say dot sing so we can sing and say I'm singing I'm drinking and you bring, you do the second time you say I'm full that's all now this number two you're gonna check in that <coughs> what it does on the check this is the function you use the is instant key looking for integer long if you have an error you're gonna raise it with type of error and you can say if the key less than zero you can raise an error index error that's all that's all it does and we get a class arithmetic sequence initialize itself with a start and step start with default zero step equal one okay and you can assign start equal start step equal step and the chain equal blank and you also have another function you create get item and passing the cell and the key and we come here, you're gonna check the key, but you go back to the function that we create on top here, check it, and then where, and, and then <coughs> if it's true, then it's gonna fall to here. If you get an error, it's gonna create give you an error. Everything's okay, it's gonna fall here, and you're gonna do a try. And if you check if the cell is changing, you can return the value of it. If not, it's gonna check is there any error nope no error is gonna return the start number plus the key time the step that's all and this is the site set item with the cell key and the value you check it everything's okay you just assign the key to a value and that's it okay and the print sequence here <coughs> first you create an object sequence passing parameters uh, the parameter primary is start and step right okay start equal one step equal two then you're gonna do a sign of four a key to the value a bit okay so start gonna be one what which is the value passing here the step gonna be two because you're passing there and the value itself when you're passing to is going to be 4 now it's going to take the value I told you again in the past and previous earlier lesson you know you do a arithmetic operation the division and multiplication go first plus and minus goes second okay so you're going to take this time this 
8 and then plus 1 equal 9. And they said equal 9 right here. Now, if you change the <coughs> you change the value to a 2 instead of a 9, right? When you do that, the same thing going to check. Okay, this is going to check here. Say, yep, the key is chain. It, it, it's become a 2, so it cannot return the value of 2. It doesn't do anything else. It's going to return the value of 2. Value is change to 2, return 2. Okay. And the last one, if you change the key to a 5, it's going to take the same thing the up like a previous one. Instead of 4, it's going to do a 5. 5 times 2 equal 10 plus 1 equal 11. That's it. So the next one is counter list. Subclass from a list object. Append extend index function are uh, inherited. This is the list uh, object by create a class you call counter list. You're gonna pass a list in here and you're gonna do a uh, init itself by doing a uh, Remember, this is super, super function. By doing that, you can initiate, uh, do a constructor and initialize the value. When you do that, you can set a count to equal zero. Get item, you're going to make sure that count to equal count to plus one. This is like count to equal count to plus one, okay? This is like a C sharp or Java, so. Uh, return you just return the super counter list get item itself okay so all right so let's go look at what we're gonna do uh, we create a, a class we passing a read on the sick and side to a variable SL this become an object and you wanna print what it look like right this is number three isn't it yeah when you <coughs> you bring it, it's going to be so one, three, four, five because you put a six by you, right? So start with zero. Uh, so you come, it's going to be six, right? So one, three, five equals six. Now you do a SL reverse function, it's going to reverse the value from five from the highest to small. And if you delete the value between three and six, and let me see, it should be. This between this, so this three should be gone. Okay, so only oh, uh, let me think, let me think this again. Yes, then when you bring a list, it's gonna list this one left. Okay, now when you, you check counter, counter become a zero. Now, if you add this two key together, so the value now. This and this together. Remember, it start with zero, right? Zero, one, two, one and two. Add together, become seven. And then at number two, you you gonna do the counter again to to make sure what's happening when you do that. The counter become two because you just add the two number together. Okay, that's how it does. And number four, we look at number four here. Yeah. We create a class called rectangle. We create an initialize cell, assign a width and a height, and under called get size, passing an object cell, passing a size, and you assign uh, assign a width equal a size. It's called, it's called getter and setter okay, in in C or Java, okay, but in uh, Python, this is how you do it. <coughs> You're going to return a width and a help and, and a height. And then you assign uh, a size equal property, get size, set size. Which is going to call this and this. And let's assign the value to this. Okay. Now, we're going to create a, a class. Let's see, a, a class rectangle assigned to this, up, uh, this variable, it becomes an object. Okay. I don't know why I do it twice, <laughs> but that way it is. So you can say width, a height, and then you can print get size, right? You're gonna print get size, when you print get size, it's gonna be 10 and 5. Become a, 
a topo, okay? Because you assign these two together. Now, you're gonna say set psi uh, and bit because you <coughs> you get psi, you assign these two, right? You can set psi 150 and 100. And then when you do that, you bring it out, it's gonna be uh, set psi equal 100 and 100 right there. And then you're gonna bring a psi, a psi gonna be a new value, instead of this, it becomes this. And then you do another assignment, right? So you can say 45 comma 66, and then you can just look at a psi, a psi gonna be key 45, 66, that's all. You can assign a psi like this, or you can do just do like this, the same thing, okay? And number five is, yep, define class, call my class. A static method here, you have to put on top to create a, so you can create a static method and you can bring, you can say this is static method. You have a, uh, this is like a ampersand or what, yes. And class method and then you can plus with a object called LCS and then you can say this is a class method that's all it does okay and when you say my class you don't have to create it an object subst substantiate they call it you just call it directly which is fine and I in Java in uh, C sharp you can do that you have to substantiate it you have to create it you know so it in uh, python you can create you can call directly without creating a, an object to, to call it so which is fine by me so when you do that you can just print this and just gonna print that and tell see, this is this from the main class i think that's it that's what um, i have today it's about 12 minutes i heard you learned something it pretty much about classes and the other thing you want to learn is the item exit this is the, the thing you should know non-zero get item set item delete item okay so i see you guys next time uh, all right bye